I'm just going to share some of my work with you this evening. My sister's disobedient legs cement her to the ground. Her body does not obey her mind, which flies freely, unencumbered by weak muscles, struggling, 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 struggling to take a single step. Movements. We throw away so easily and absent-mindedly, she would love to catch and reel in. Dance, dance, dance. She used to dance in her not so long ago days, and her limbs listened then. They swooped and swayed and swayed and swooped to their hips as shade as music played. They swayed and swooped and swooped and swayed in their hips as shade as music played. Muscular calves and shapely arms once adorned her naturally athletic frame. Now they hang limp, almost useless, becoming weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Sometimes she dreams she can walk. And her fingers tap and her face breaks out to the most gigantic, beautiful smile. Sometimes she can dream, she runs. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. She's gone from using a stick to a crutch, to a clumsy chair with wheels. In her mind, she runs, she jumps, she skips. In her mind, she moves with ease and grace without the worry of a body that will betray her. In her mind, she travels to places and spaces which in reality are absolute impossibility. She swoops and sways and sways and swoops and her hips as she as music plays. She sways and swoops and swoops and sways and her hips as she as music plays. She sways and she swoops and she swoops and she sways. And it hips a shade as music plays. Thank you.